the, the first stage of the recognition and the awareness and just that question, like, we don't, what do we do? Um, definitely let somebody know, like, they don't know what they're doing and that's okay. Uh, it's, it, there is no, I, I, I've, I have found myself getting very frustrating, very frustrated this last year mm-hmm. of all of a sudden, all these people are doing DEI work. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and, uh, some of them that I've connected with have never even worked with people. They like, they've, they've managed a, uh, they were a department lead or something. I was like, oh my goodness. And so, mm-hmm. but, and, but so the education is very important. And I was, I was very frustrated that I, this last year and somewhat in the Midwest, it seemed like every time I would reach out to someone in regard to this, I was looking for an imperfect mastermind group, essentially, that was okay with vulnerably saying, we don't know what the fuck we're doing. Mm-hmm. I, I, I needed that because in, in my tenured career, uh, 20 years in HR, 15 years doing, uh, going from what was sensitivity training into DEI work and also working in all diversity uh, aspects when it, or d- diverse industries, being in the military, uh, doing global diverse work. So I, I like, I still didn't know a lot of the new language of things that was coming out, pronoun usage, identity, these things that I was just like, okay, this, this is new to me because I've never, I've never been in this space before. And a lot of this Mm -hmm. is kind of new for a lot of people. And so I was looking for that, that group that was able to say, we don't know, even if they were professionals, but we're able to say in the, in the, but we're able to say, we don't know, but we're going to go learn. We're going to, mm-hmm. we're going to go find out. And that's kind of, it's kind of where this whole human realness came from. Cause it just seemed like in this Midwest area, I couldn't get people to say, we don't know. It was all, gl- mm-hmm. it was all like glossed over with this. Uh, oh yes, we're doing this and this and look at all this. And I'm like, but your turnover is almost at a hundred percent. You've got this, you've got like, mm-hmm. you know, it's, it's not adding up. Mm-hmm. You're, you're, what you're saying is not adding up to the actions. And I, it was, and so I, I was getting, finding myself very, very frustrated and trying to find individuals to share a space where we could openly dialogue the things that we don't know about. So my, my question mm-hmm. uh, saying all that is, in those moments where you said you're, you're speaking to a, uh, a group, a company, and you, they have this deer in the headlights look of, you know, we had, you, know, you kind of touch base on the performative allyship. We've got our rainbow flags, June pride, all of it. Great. Trans, you know, hashtag trans awareness, all of it. Mm-hmm. And then it is, do you have a policy that is a step-by-step framework for when an employee comes up to you and says, I will be going through the process of transition. What is your policy or your procedural guideline as I'm going through this? Mm-hmm. And you're kind of, you're like kind of a deer, in, you know, most people have a deer in the headlights look. So in, in that moment right there, I think as an HR person, as a DNI person, because we want to know logistics, right? What are the logistics at that point? <laughs> It's true. <laughs> because sure. everything else. What do we like, got to do? What do we right, got to do? It can turn into just talking points. But w- what do you do? Um, being a trans woman, what do you do in that moment to create a psychological safe, open space while at the same time giving them an honest, an honest answer without causing them to go back into the turtle shell? essentially, because you know, if you say anything, uh, to someone who may not be, uh, marginalized, they're not going to immediately believe or agree because it was not their experience. So they'll have a kind of a cognitive dissonance from it. So what do you do in that moment Mm -hmm. to help educate them and further them along in that process? I, I can only speak like from my experience, obviously. Good. Um, and and for me, it was a recognition that um, 
they had never done this before. Mm -hmm. So for me, it was before I had that initial meeting with uh, the two HR vice presidents that I work with, and I, and, and I write about this in the book, I, I knew that I would have to be prepared. I worked from a position of, I'm going to need to lead them by the hand. Yeah. Now, because I really, you know, while on one hand, I'd like to think that maybe they did some pre-work, even though I was the first and they really hadn't had this experience before. Maybe they sat down and did some brainstorming. I didn't know. And to this day, don't know. So having said that, then I thought it was incumbent upon me to be the one who was prepared. Mm. So, and I tell this story in the book, I came in with this like, you know, 12 point agenda of here's all the things that I think need to be changed uh, because, you know, obviously there are others that had transitioned before me in my community. So I, I leaned on that a lot. And, um, and it was through that, that I was able to come to the meeting and say, well, here's what I think can guide our conversation. Mm. And this look of, you know, this, like they had the deer in the headlights look as I walked in, partly because they were meeting the real me for the first time. Mm -hmm. uh, and the other part of it was, oh, geez, how are we going to do this? And so that helped kind of pave the way. These are the things that we need to, you know, to change, you know, my, my, you know, my, the name, my name on, you know, things that you might not initially think about, like the caller yeah. ID on your phone. Obviously, email is a no brainer, you know, the, the, na the name played outside your office, all this other kind of stuff. But I think what that kind of evolved to, mm. and I think they were appreciative of, of, of that. Yeah. And, you know, and, and, and I hope it um, created a framework for those that came after mm -hmm. me. Um, mm -hmm. Because then that evolved more into a conversation, not so much about what needs to change. Mm -hmm. It became more about, so what does the communication look like? Mm -hmm. um, you know, who are the audiences for that? And when does it need to happen? And um, as I point out in the book, what really kind of gated the time, the timing from that meeting to when we decided when would be my first day had very much to do with getting the back end systems changed <laughs> before I showed up to work as my authentic self for the very mm. first time. So um, that's really kind of how the the conversation uh, started. And, you know, and that, now today we have, you know, and, and I've done some of this work, form, some of the formative work on transition guidelines, you know, so now companies have transition guidelines, not all of them, but, you know, you can get them out on the web now, uh, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, HRC has them, you know, the work that I was involved in uh, out in equal, um, mm -hmm. I didn't, I, were the ones that uh, were, were sponsoring that work that, that, and, and um, so yeah, so they're out there, you can pull them down. And what I like to try to tell companies that I work with, it's like, okay, so it's great that you have them, but they're very generic. You mm -hmm. need to then kind of, you know, uh, you know, put the whatever company name is, ABC companies spin on these because mm -hmm. there might be certain terminologies and whatnot. And you know, from, from, yeah. your, from your work in HR that, you, you know, different companies have different names for the same sorts mm -hmm. of functions. And mm -hmm. you just need to make sure that those reflect what's actually happening in your company. Mm -hmm. And then, and, and, you know, and, and then off you go, but um, you got to have them. You know? yeah. and, and there are a lot of companies that still don't have them. Yeah. Um, and, 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 and they should, even though they may not have anyone who's out that's trans. Yeah.